how could upwards of a half billion barrels of oil get stolen in Iraq every day? Imagine if you pulled into the gas station to fill up and there was no meter running on the pump. No meter counting the gallons of gas going into your tank. That's the situation in Iraq when tankers load up. Tonight we hear about it from a Texas oil veteran who worked there. How can thousands of jobless insurgents afford to attack U.S. soldiers in Iraq? Billions of dollars worth of stolen oil helps fuel the violence. Gosh, I'd say probably between 200,000 to 500,000 barrels a day is probably unaccounted for in Iraq. Mike Morris, a former State Department advisor to Iraq's oil ministry, suspects tanker ships are overloaded with black market oil. The Al Basra oil terminal, located off the southern coast of Iraq in the Persian Gulf, is ripe for corruption. Photographs obtained exclusively by CBS 11 show that the meters that are supposed to count the millions of barrels of oil leaving the country do not work and have not worked for years. We've seen the pictures of the meters are rusted and not working. No metering. And there's no metering at the wellheads either. There's no metering at any uh, major pipeline junctions. Morris says corrupt Iraqi officials do not want new meters keeping an accurate count of oil production or exports. This oil terminal in the crude oil industry sounds like a supermarket without a checkout counter. Well, it's more of a supermarket without a cashier. Without meters, there's widespread corruption in Iraq's state-owned oil industry. It's stealing out of the oil refineries, it's stealing from the pipelines, it's stealing at the port. Amy Myers Jaffe of the Baker Institute at Rice University served as an energy advisor to the Iraq study group. That those people who are courageous and stand up and say, no, I am going to order these meters and I am going to oversee that they'll be put in place, uh, get up in the morning and their cousin is found on the street dead and assassinated or, or their life is threatened. Iraq's ambassador to the United States concedes that money from stolen oil ends up in the pockets of insurgents, criminal gangs, and corrupt officials. We are aware that there is corruption going on. And we are committed to fight that. But we also are not naive enough to believe that overnight we can simply eliminate it. It will take time. The absence of oil meters came as a surprise to the senator who has headed investigations into Iraqi oil smuggling. The effectiveness of the Iraqis to take necessary action clearly is questionable. Are you a bit incredulous that we would not have meters measuring how much oil goes out of the Of country? course, that would be ridiculous. The U.S. is now spending more than $10 million to replace inoperable meters on the Al Basra oil terminal by late spring. It's part of a $1.7 billion program to rebuild Iraq's oil industry. But it may be wasted in a country plagued by corruption. I got the impression that it was uh, such a problem like the insurgency that no one really had a solution to it. No one knew the extent of it. No one really had a plan to come up with uh, procedures or processes that deal with the problem. Despite spending all those U.S. tax dollars on Iraq's oil industry, it's now producing less oil than it did before the war started. The Iraq Study Group recommended putting meters at both ends of Iraq's oil supply line to help stop pervasive corruption. But there are no plans to do that.